Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my video. Today question looks crazy, but that is only the looks. In fact, it can be solved easily. We just need two knowledge. Number one, basic property of trigonometry. And number two, interval inverting variable strategy. Because x is from 0 to pi divided by 2, we can draw a triangle in quadrant 1. Label 90 degree, x, and pi divided by 2 minus x. Label the sides as A, B, and C. From the triangle, we can see that sine x equals to A divided by C, which is also equals to cosine pi divided by 2 minus x. Meanwhile, cosine x equals to B divided by C, which is equals to sine pi divided by 2 minus x. Let's do interval inverting variable strategy. Change the x become pi divided by 2 minus x. dx become negative dx. Pi divided by 2 become 0. 0 become pi divided by 2. Sine x become sine pi divided by 2 minus x, which is equals to cosine x. Cosine x become cosine pi divided by 2 minus x, which is equals to sine x. From here, we obtain new q equals to integral pi divided by 2 to 0. Numerator is e power inverse tangent of, of sine x divided by e power inverse tangent cosine x plus e power inverse tangent sine x and then negative dx. As usual, we can cancel the negative dx become positive by swapping the integration bound. Assume original question as equation 1 and then the newly found q as equation 2. Obviously, if we apply equation 1 plus equation 2, the numerator is exactly the same to the denominator, which means 2q equals to integral 0 to pi divided by 2, 1 dx. Or, q equals to 1 over 2 multiplied pi divided by 2. That brings us to the conclusion of this video. The final answer of this question is equals to pi divided by 4. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Please continue support, subscribe, give a like and share my video with others. As usual, I see you tomorrow for new video. Bye-bye.